thank you very much um, and good afternoon to your viewers. Uh, well, it, it did not come to me as a surprise and I will tell you why this was so predictable. And it's entirely from the turn of events in the high court. You will recall that the, the, the conversation between the attorney general and Mr. Jakpa started at the time when the, um, uh, I mean, Mr. Jakpa's concern and complaint started when his, um, how do we call it? The submission of no case was dismissed mm -hmm. by the trial court. You recall, that is where Mr. Jakpa's concern started. And that is where the conversation between him and attorney general and all the other things that turned out to be on the tape that we've all listened to occurred. Now, the only question you have to ask yourself to get to this point, to know that this case was bound to end this way, was that if the attorney general was so confident in his case, would he have been having those conversations with Mr. Jaffa? Once you, you, you think about this question and you, you listen to the tape, you, you have no doubt in your mind that an end of this kind mm -hmm. was about to happen. And so for me, it was only a matter of time right. when we are at this point where the courts would, would dismiss the matter. And secondly, just look at what is happening in the high court. If you were a, a trial judge and all these things are happening, this tip is before you, then the chief of defense staff's testimony yesterday about Japan's credibility and the conversation we had last night. If you were a trial judge, or if you are any judge looking at this matter, what would you think is happening? Criminal trials are not supposed to be what we have seen in this case, because the principle behind a criminal trial is that it is better to let thousand innocent people go than to jail, I mean, thousand guilty people go than to jail one innocent person. And the rules of a criminal trial have said that to convict someone, if the rules are applied strictly, there shouldn't be any doubt as to the guilt of, of the person who, of the accused person. Now, if you look at all what has happened in the trial, all what is happening even after the judges, the trial judges ruling on the submission of no case, you, you, would you be proud if a person is jailed on the back of all this as a citizen of a republic, right. as a believer? Justice, would you be proud that someone is put behind bars on the back of all this? Clearly, you, you that is why I think that I mean, I, I, I guess that's something uh, Justice, if yes, I would have to uh, ponder on uh, for, for you know, time to come. But I do want to uh, link the uh, Court of Appeals decision to the High Court case itself. Does it automatically truncate that one? Yes, that is what it means. It means that the case is no longer before, I mean, it's no longer there because they, 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 they. So let's go back. Submission of no case basically means that I have been put before the court. The attorney general has been given opportunity to put all his evidence before the court. And after he put all the evidence before the court, when I make a submission of no case, what I'm calling on the court to do is that the attorney general has not been able to prove all the elements of the offense. So offenses are defined. And in the definition, you find out that there are elements in the offense which the prosecution is bound to prove. If the prosecution is unable to adduce enough evidence to prove those elements, to show that all the elements, he has evidence to support all the elements, you make a submission of no case. And if the submission of no case is upheld, what it means is that the trial cannot continue. So when the submission of no case was dismissed by the trial court, then the accused person would have to what, open a defense, which means, that the, which means that the attorney general had made out all the relevant elements of the offense and which would now call on the accused person to offer explanation to the evidence. If he fails to offer, I mean, a cogent explanation to the evidence, he will be put in, I mean, he will be jailed. I and see. if he's able to make explanation, it will not be jailed. Now, what happened in the Court of Appeal is that the Court of Appeal is saying that the trial judge should have what? Upheld the submission of no case, mm -hmm. thereby discharging and acquitting the accused persons. And since the trial judge didn't find 
the submission of no case to be well grounded and dismissed it, the appeal in the court of appeal, which is now in, the, in favor of the accused person, is simply saying that you should have held that the trial, I mean, the attorney general did not meet the elements of, that, of, of the offense and should have acquitted and discharged the accused person. But now we think that this is a proper case, submission of no case, and therefore we are pulled it. And therefore, mm. the case ought to end immediately. I see. And, and you know, I, I was wondering whether or not there will be any procedure followed at the High Court. Because when you listen to uh, counsels for both, uh, uh, you know, the first accused person and the third accused person, the third accused person says, look, I need to get back to the court uh, b because I do have uh, my documents with the court. The first accused person's counsel says this automatically trans truncates the case. We don't have to go there. Is there any procedure that needs to happen to formally document this perhaps yes yeah, so the, the formal procedure that is required is that there must be the decision of the court of appeal must be communicated or transmitted to the high court to be aware so uh, of course the high court will be aware of this uh, the trial judge will be aware because this is a, a, a public interest matter which is all over the internet and everybody is aware of it the court itself allow media into the courtroom however the proper thing to be done the procedure to be done is that the, the, the court registry in the court of appeal either on the prompting of the prosecutor, that's the attorney general, or to indicate to the high court that uh, uh, this is the outcome of the appeal, which has brought an end to the case. And that, that would be it. Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, both counsel, you know, on, 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 for the third, they are, all, they are both right, because in, in real terms, even if the decision is not communicated, uh, it, it, what would be the essence of anything that the, court of, the high right. court is doing? It have no effect at all. Mm, I see. I do want to look at uh, this from the perspective of the Attorney General. While there may be options for uh, the AG to seek, uh, you know, an appeal on this uh, Court of Appeal decision, would you consider it a wise one to do? You see, the AG has been battered in this case. His reputation, his integrity, and uh, I know, I understand why he would want to appeal to restore, because, you know, the case has caused a lot of reputational, you know, questions to, to him and his office. And, and even from the trial court, the trial court even made a comment, I mean, advised him to, to step away from the case. And so I can imagine he, he would definitely would want to appeal, you know, against this, this uh, uh, decision of the Court of Appeal. But the, the, the attorney generals hardly appeal, you know, when they lose a case of this kind, they hardly appeal. But I see why he would want to appeal. But uh, be that as it may, I think the, the, the news now is that the case is not going to continue. It would have to, you know, sit down, reflect over what has happened and take a, a decision which uh, should be one that I, I believe should, should let the matters rest because mm. uh, he has been battered heavily in this matter and I think it's not, it's not good for his image. And even the justice system that he, he sits over, I think Indeed. should not, yeah. Indeed. Doc, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Dr. Justice Shrimsai is a lawyer and a law uh, lecturer.